I wow I, I really I really like this one hi everyone it's me Grant the movie and TV guy no intro just I liked it uh, the end no I'm just kidding um hi it's me Grant the movie and TV guy welcome to raise up with Grant again I nice see you again it's been like what five minutes um for some of you um hi this is the last review of the night uh, get out your hair listen to Kermode and go to bed so um, and that movie is, uh, it is a movie, movies and TV, so we do here, that movie is Mr. Malcolm's List. Mr. Malcolm's List is directed by, my apologies, I want to make sure I get, especially for this one, I want to make sure I give the proper credit. It's very important to me that I give proper credit in these. Emma Holly Jones directed Mr. Malcolm's List. It is based on uh, the 2009 novel, which I have not read, which was first adapted uh, basically as a pitch to this movie as a short film. I have seen the short film. I actually watched it today before uh, going to theater. It's only 12 minutes, um, which was a good taste of what was going to come. Um, it had Gemma Chan in a role that is not played by Gemma Chan in the film, but otherwise it was mostly the same cast. Um, what is this film about, and who else is involved? Um, story begins with a, a character named Julia Thistlewaite. She is played by um, Zawe. Uh, this actress' name is Zawe Aniston. Um, she is um, a young woman living in the Regency era of England, who is a little stuck up, a little sometimes just downright kind of mean. Um, she uh, is courted, or she's not courted, rather. She is taken out on a date, uh, hoping to be courted by a Mr. Jeremy Malcolm. He is played by um, Sophie Derizou. Um But um, she, uh, he rejects her publicly um, through a cartoonist. And um, she then discovers that he has a list of uh, various attributes he wants in a bride that she failed to meet. Uh, scorned and pissed, <laughs> somewhat understandably for the public, but maybe overreacting just a little bit. Um, she uh, sends out her childhood friend, uh, played by um, her childhood friend Selena, played by uh, Frida Pinto, who um, I have not seen since Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So this is nice seeing her again, uh, originally from Slumdog Millionaire. Um, to basically, um, with help from her, co from, uh, with help from Julia's cousin, um, played by, in a scene-stealing turn by, uh, the Haunting of Hill House and, uh, Invisible Man alum, Oliver Jackson Cohen, um, who is the cousin of, is Julia's cousin who is friendly with Mr. Malcolm, they decide on a plan for revenge. Selena is going to fit every attribute, uh, play the perfect part of the perfect wife, um, and then uh, create her own list to break Mr. Malcolm's heart for scorning Julia. But will Selena fall for the dashing Mr. Malcolm's charms? And uh, what of this uh, mysterious um, soldier, former friend of a uh, soldier friend of uh, Selena's, who comes back, played by Theo James, recent fresh off the time of his wife? Um, will he get in the way, or will, uh, Julia find unexpected bond with Mr. James's character? And, um, complications and drama and, uh, pithy, funny remarks ensue. Um, let the madness begin. So, um, sometimes movies just happen to just... There are multiple factors, let's put it this way. There are multiple factors in when a movie works for you. You can be you're in the right mood for it. You could be just blindsided by it you could genuinely want to like it and genuinely come out really loving it i did not know much about mr malcolm was going in i saw the trailer once in front of elvis last weekend um it has been kind of dipped into theaters in a guess a wide release i gotta tell you guys something sometimes the movie just works on you and i adored mr malcolm's list i really love this movie i love the script that it was hilarious. Um, it, the film also, despite that seemingly um, incendiary premise, is rated PG, so you can take anyone, everyone to it. There's nothing in it that would offend anyone. 
Um, Oliver Jackson Cohen, man, he he could he gives a look, and I burst out laughing in this movie. He is so funny as this her her kind of bumbling kind of cousin um, man a few words cousin who's terrified of horses. I thought this character was hilarious. There were shades to this movie that reminded me of one of my favorite films from two years ago, The Personal History of David Copperfield, which also kind of came and went in the in the states with no fanfare. I love this movie and. Frida Pinto is just lovely in it. I really liked her a lot. Theo James is always pretty good. I've, I've liked the guy generally. Um, um, Sophie Dizaru gives a phenomenal performance. I'm unfamiliar with him, but he was phenomenal as Mr. Malcolm. And um, um, as was um, Zawe Aniston, who plays a character who is not necessarily a likable character, and yet you kind of do like her, thanks to Miss Aniston. Even even if you want to kind of shake her sometimes and go, what are you doing? Um... I love this movie. This is a really so solid movie, and guys, I love this movie. I'm, you see it? Yeah, this is this even surprised me. Bang! Five out of five stars for Mr. Malcolm's list. I really love this film. I know, I know. Grant's giving another five star movie. What a shock! This one is really good, guys. This is a really good flick. I loved it. Two hours flew by. Um, love Mr. Malcolm's List. It is the, it is so underappreciated. Go check it out. It's really good. It was me and like three, three other, well, there's like six other people in the screening I was in tonight. That's pitiful for seven o'clock showing on the opening night of a movie. Come on. That's ridiculous. All right. Five out of five stars. Let's close the book on it. Trailer Trash. Um, these are just about all movies that I have not talked about, so this is going to be fun. Hallelujah, A Journey, A Song. This is a documentary on um, the great singer Leonard Cohen, um, who, of course, wrote Hallelujah, which was made even better by the late Jeff Buckley, and given its most popular film use by Shrek, um, which they mentioned in the trailer. Um, get out of my swamp. Hey, now you're not <laughs> Anyway, well, that it's a it's really interesting. I've, I'm fascinated by Cohen. I I definitely check this one out. Ticket to Paradise. Um, this is the big reunion of George Clooney and Julia Roberts, along with Caitlin Dever. What's not to love? It's a, and the director of Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Uh, the second book. Awesome. Um, and it seems to be, um, George Clooney and Julia Roberts are like a former married couple who are divorced and are trying to make nice, um, to go to their daughter's wedding, uh, to meet, or to meet her daughter's boyfriend, rather, and they might find themselves falling in love again. It looks cute. Looks like fun. Uh, see how they run. This looks awesome. Uh, this is a, like, old-timey, um, uh, murder mystery comedy Starring uh, Saoirse Ronan and Sam Rockwell as a couple of bumbling detectives. Um, and Richard Attenborough as a character. This looks really funny. I'm really excited. I love movies like this with that kind of dark, deadpan humor. I love those kind of movies. Can't wait for that one. Fire of Love. Uh, we talked about it once before. Um, this is a newer trailer from what I gathered. This looks really, really great. Uh, this documentary about this couple who... Um, lost their lives um film filming this it was a um their volcano they go to they go to shoot photography of volcanoes it's insane um when they fall in love these two french people it looks really interesting thor love and thunder this is the same new trailer we did with minions it looks good looking forward to it next week a love song i had not heard of this other th I, i've heard the title because it was at sundance i've not seen this trailer this movie looks terrific. It has Dale Dickey and Wes Studi, two actors who really deserve to have a showcase. I, I'm i looking forward to that one. I hope it comes that week as well. Summering. Uh, this is another Sundance one. Um, I've heard he's got kind of mixed reviews. It's a coming-of-age film with like little, little kids. And maybe it's coming-of-age before summer, and it's maybe a little bit of fantasy in there. Um, hard to tell from the trailer. Look, it's directed by James Ponsoldt. I will always see any movie that dude makes he after uh, the movie that was one of my favorite movies of the 2010s, which was The Spectacular Now. I absolutely enjoy the film, and he directed it, so I'm definitely going to check this one out. Uh, all right. And uh, was there shawarma? Yes. Uh, the final scene um, plays through the credits, and then also the throughout the entire end credits, um, uh, the epilogue plays out via characters. 
worth sticking around for. There's a lot of, uh, see what happened to the characters. All right, um, we'll be back uh, for Stranger Things Volume, or uh, Stranger Things Season 4, all, all of Season 4, uh, tomorrow. We will also have reviews coming up this weekend for The Princess, starring Joey King, um, and we will also have um, the Minter Report, the best and worst films of 2022 so far, um, between uh, January and the beginning of January and the end of June, so the first half of the year. Um, not so that this one does not count for that list uh, right now. Um, that'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love all classes missed. I love you 3,000. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, but that's what you're supposed to do. Or so I've been told. If you want to find me elsewhere, reviews this and other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raise the Popcorn Grant. Um, as well as um, on my podcast, Raising Popcorn Grant, the podcast on Spotify and Anchor. Uh, some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. I want to know down below, what did you think of Mr. Malcolm's list? Did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Do you think my opinion's good? Think I'm full of shit? Comment below. Let me know. And then we meet again. We were all raised on popcorn. Make my own extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Take care. See you soon. Bye.